sounds pretty good. <laughs> um, so I just want to talk a little bit about this uh, this driver that I got recently. I don't really do product reviews. You probably know that by now. But um, I met this guy solely. He actually called me because he wanted my uh, advice on what he should do with his drivers that he's selling. He's doing really well with them, but he thought maybe I need to get these into some club fitters and some players' hands. So we talked for a couple hours, and I, after talking to him, I really felt like he might have a pretty good product. So I said, hey, ship me one. Let me try it out. So he shipped the driver to me. I really didn't think I would just throw it in my bag and start playing it, but actually I took it out. The first round I had with it, I really liked the feel of it and the sound of it, and then I decided to play it in my next tournament. I shot, uh, in my first round with it, I shot 69, and then my second round with it, tournament round, I shot 65. So those are my best two scores this year, actually, in tournaments. So um, needless to say, the driver actually worked. But it's got two really cool things going for it, uh, in my opinion. Maybe there's more, but the two big things to me are that it's a two-piece forged head. It's actually not, most drivers have one, two, three four pieces that are going to be welded together. And so when you have all these different weld points, it's difficult to make the head really consistent. The center of gravity, everything kind of changes when you have all these different welds. But when you make it a two-piece forge, which basically means it has a body, this, this whole body is one piece and the face is the second, you just have these two pieces that you're welding together. So it's a lot easier to keep it consistent in weight, in center of gravity. Um, so that's the one thing. It sounds really good. It feels really good. But the other thing that's really cool is it has these channels back here. And what that does is it moves the center of gravity up the club face. So now the center of gravity is a little bit higher, which is going to take spin off. So when you hit it, you're not going to have a real ballooning shot. It's not going to like rise a whole lot on you. So that's cool. You can see this is a 10.5 degree driver. And I, in the past, I could never play a driver with that high degree of loft. But now I'm launching it you know, about 10 and a half degrees, but because it's so low spin, it's just carrying and, and staying in the air forever. So, you know, those are the really big cool things about this driver. Honestly, really, I had no idea that this was going to be in my bag and, and I was going to be playing tournaments with it, but, um, but it's a great product. And, you know, against anything else out there, I don't think you're going to find something that's going to have uh, like a higher performance. And that's mainly because this is a really costly procedure to make it a two-piece forge rather than a four-piece forge and it's got a great sound and a great feel and yeah thank you solely this thing's great so that's it it's a bomb tech grenade and it's on the website i'll throw a link in this video you can check it out but it's really cool and i really appreciate it so check it out